Hey, what's up everyone, TJ here. As you guys know, it is Labor Day weekend, one of the biggest early season sales of the year. And this year there's actually a significant amount of inventory out there and it's marked down quite a bit. So in this video, I wanted to highlight about 30 pieces of gear that I have personal experience with that you can get for a pretty sweet deal right now. And before we jump into the video, I wanna let you know that I'm gonna have every snowboard I talk about linked down in the description below this video. And you can support the channel for free by clicking one of those links before you make a purchase if you plan to shop online. Let's get into it. All right, and the first board I wanna talk about is the Ride War Pig. One of the first boards to lead the way in the volume shift revolution we've seen over the last several years. Designed to be ridden a little shorter, it's wide, it's got a flat to rocker profile and a lot of tech built into this snowboard. Just a great, versatile, all mountain board, fun for carving, still feels good in the park with a pretty twinish feel on hard pack. Uh, definitely a fun, versatile board to check out. Coming in at a pretty sweet deal right now and available in almost every single size. Uh, also a couple more in the pig series. You got the super pig if you want like a beefed up version with camber in the profile, as well as the twin pig if you want that fully twin variation of that board. All going for good deals and all still have a lot of the main sizes still available. And next up, we've got the Battalion Party Wave Plus. This one is one of my personal favorites, another volume shifted snowboard designed to be ridden at a shorter size. It's got a lot of width to it and a very long side cut. So it's gonna be a really fun carving snowboard, giving you those longer drawn out carbs, feeling really good at higher speeds out there. It's gonna float really well in powder also. And of course with Battalion, gonna have the combination of that full positive camber profile with their triple base technology. So definitely check this one out. Still available in all the main sizes and marked down over a hundred bucks. So uh, definitely had to include that one on the list here today. Uh, also got the Rome Stale Cruiser. Uh, this one I really enjoyed as just a general all mountain snowboard. It's pretty stiff. It's gonna have some nice stability to it. Uh, doesn't feel too bad in the park though. I'd say if you're a more experienced rider that wants stability uh, for those larger features, it's definitely not gonna be a very jibby snowboard, but can be fun for some park laps and just general resort all mountain exploring as well. We've also got the Solomon High Path. This one is a newer snowboard of the Solomon lineup and is a more all mountain free ride focused snowboard with a more manageable feel to it. You can get some good flex out of this snowboard. It's not gonna be too aggressive. Just a nice mellower, just all mountain resort explorer. It's got some directionality to it. It's got some camber in the profile and still available in I think every single size. Next, I also saw the Battalion Party Wave Twin was marked down and still has a lot of the main sizes available. Doesn't look like the 56 is there, but uh, still some pretty popular sizes out there going for sub 400. This board took the place of the Magic Carpet on the Battalion lineup. If you're looking for that powder twin style board that's gonna be wide and have Battalion's full camber with their triple base technology, a more powder focused triple base, this could be a good one to check out with a more playful feel to it. This isn't gonna be a super stiff snowboard. It's definitely uh, flexier than you might expect, I'd say. It's a fairly mellow snowboard. I also wanted to include the Battalion Cruiser on this list just because I personally really enjoy this snowboard. I spent a lot of time on this thing this past season, particularly out in Japan. I let my friends ride it out there as well and everyone really enjoyed it. They didn't wanna get off the board. Full camber, very sturdy, very energetic has the triple base technology, just like all the other battalion snowboards, has some directionality to it. It's a great carving snowboard, floats really good in powder. Uh, not the most maneuverable, but still a fun board for that more all mountain free ride focused rider that wants a more stable, energetic feel. This is a super fun one. The 56, probably the most popular size, still has pretty deep inventory, it looks like, so wanted to throw it on the list here for you guys. I also found a couple of K2 snowboards that I really like personally. Not a ton of different sizing available, but good inventory in the sizes they do have, and they have some popular sizes, particularly the 54 here on the K2 instrument. This was one of my personal favorites uh, the previous season, the 22-23 season, a really fun carving snowboard and a great resort explorer with some good stability and some good energy. 
You're also going to find the Manifest from K2 on sale right now, another really versatile all-mountain board. Uh, one that I tested a few seasons ago, but was a standout for me. Uh, and I actually held onto this snowboard to keep in the personal quiver because I enjoyed it so much. I still got the 56, so wanted to throw that out there for you guys as well. Next, I wanted to talk about the Rome Party Mod. This is going to be a more buttery freestyle snowboard, but this is one that I also just did not want to get off of. It's very pressable and a good jib snowboard, but still has enough stability to really ride anything that the park throws at you. It has a very comfortable, just natural feel to it. It feels good right from the first lap and they still have some popular sizing available on this one. So if you've been looking for a new freestyle snowboard for the upcoming season, you could check out the Rome Party Mod. Uh, also, of course, had to include my personal favorite snowboard right now, the Battalion Evil Twin Plus. This was uh, my personal just everyday ride for the previous season. I spent a lot of time on this snowboard. Uh, this took over the Battalion Boss on the Battalion lineup. Uh, good, very versatile, mid-flexing park board, very lightweight, all the high-end tech from Battalion thrown into this thing. Full camber, triple base, good pop, good energy, and just a great all-around park board. They don't have the 54 that I would ride available, but I uh, had to throw it in there just because it's marked down so much, and uh, this is a pretty pricey snowboard normally. It's hard to find on a discount. It also looks like pretty deep inventory in pretty much every size on the GNU Anti-Gravity. This was a board I tested uh, the year that it came out, out in Jackson Hole and Grand Targhee. Another really fun resort explorer. It's going to float and pow. It's going to be fun for cruising around groomers, getting in the trees. It has a slightly directional shape and you're gonna find that magnet traction and a camber dominant profile in this one with a manageable flex with some good stability, close to a mid flex. We've also got the Rome Warden, sub $300 if you're looking for a smoking deal. You know how hard it is to find boards under that price point nowadays. Still available in pretty much every single size. Definitely a little bit of a more basic construction to this snowboard, but a good option for a general resort explorer with a mellower feel. Slightly directional, uh, maybe a little bit on the softer side of medium flex fun in the park it's going to be fun doing more all mountain riding as well so if you're looking for that all mountain freestyle board on a budget this is definitely a good one to check out and if you're looking for a nice entry level option something with a very manageable feel that's going to make learning those fundamentals easier this was a board i tested just last season the arbor formula rocker uh, full rocker profile, gonna have that grip tech from Arbor. A little bit more basic construction, but sub 300. Right now, over $150 off on this snowboard. Uh, gonna be a great beginner choice if you're looking for something for your very first season. And if you'd rather have it in a camber dominant shape for that positive camber, they've got that as well with pretty deep inventory, still sub 300. So uh, check that one out if you're looking for your first snowboard or for just like a nice basic entry level option. I also found a couple of women's options I wanted to highlight. We got the Women's Rome Ravine. This is another one that I tested very recently and it does have a pretty directional shape to it. It has a very directional outline, got the 3D diamond in the nose, that 3D shaping from Rome out there. And just a really fun, like all mountain free ride board that has like a park personality to it. So if you're looking for that directional shape that's pretty friendly and just very versatile, this is a good one to check out. As well as the Yes Basic. Uh, this is another board that I've brought up year over year. A great entry level option, very versatile, has that camber dominant profile, has some good tech in it from Yes. It's got the underbite, I believe. So it's gonna give you that extra grip under your feet. And uh, just a good one for learning the fundamentals or getting into park riding. So if uh, any ladies out there looking for some good deals, there's a couple good ones that still have a ton of sizing and some good inventory left. I also found some outerwear. We got the Volcom Stretch Gore-Tex jacket, one of my favorite pieces of gear from Volcom. You got that Gore-Tex waterproofing and breathability, that bulletproof waterproofing with the Stretch Gore-Tex. So it's very comfortable. Uh, Volcom always has a nice aesthetic, a nice fit to it. Definitely wouldn't hesitate to recommend that one to you guys. I spent a whole season on this jacket and traveled all over with it. It's a great one. 
the stretch Gore-Tex pants to match. If you are looking for that stretch Gore-Tex fabric, you know that that is a higher end fabric. It tends to be significantly more expensive. So this could be a good opportunity to swoop one for a pretty sweet deal right now. Uh, as well as the Volcom Guide Gore-Tex pants. Uh, I actually haven't worn these pants personally, but I wanted to include it on the list because it's a three layer Gore-Tex. So that higher level technical outerwear and super thin technical fabric. So designed to be layered with, they're gonna be more for backcountry, but if you are looking for that technical kind of gear, this is probably about as good a deal as you're gonna find on some three layer Gore-Tex pants. I've also got the Volcom L Gore-Tex pants, which I spent a whole season on these pants as well. Uh, they have a baggier fit. It's gonna be that two layer Gore-Tex with a pretty durable fabric. Not gonna have that stretch, but still gonna give you that Gore-Tex performance. Going for a very good deal right now. Still a ton of colors left, a ton of sizing. And if you want the current colors, the newer colors of these pants, uh, not as much of a discount, but those are actually on sale right now as well. The 686 Dispatch bibs are also on sale right now, at least in the blue colorway. These are the bibs that I wore all last season for the 22-23 season. I used them in my last trip to New Zealand. They are super solid bib and they're stretch Gore-Tex. The fit's great, they're super comfortable. It's a very well thought out bib as well as far as the pockets and the venting. Gonna be good in the resort, gonna be good in the backcountry. Uh, so if you're looking for something like that and you like that blue color, that could be a good one to snag right now as well. And last thing I wanna mention before I get into goggles is these stance socks. They're merino wool socks. I can't recommend merino for any layer that touches the skin enough. I know a lot of people are hesitant to spend the extra money on that. So if you're one of those people or you just need some new socks in the kit, uh, pick up some merino socks. Uh, you know, maybe not the best color, but gonna be that high quality fabric at all the benefits of merino in a snowboard specific sock. So I might actually pick up a couple of pairs of these as well. All right, so for goggles, I found some pretty great discounts as well. Uh, the Smith Squad and the Squad XL have been a go-to on the channel that I don't hesitate to recommend. If you're looking for a high quality goggle on a budget, you're gonna get that Smith construction, that Smith quality at a very low price. These are going for $55 right now for the Smith Squad in a couple different colorways. We got the Squad XL going for a pretty sweet discount as well. I've spent a full season on the Squad XL, rode in Japan with these all over Colorado. And for the price, they're a really solid goggle just at the regular price. Uh, they do come with a bonus lens as well. And for 70 bucks for the XL, 55 for the regular Squad, uh, this might be the best goggle deal I think I've ever seen. Uh, so if you're one of those people that are gonna buy a budget goggle on like Amazon or something, uh, go for the Smith instead. Um, also, uh, the Dragon PXV, another goggle that I've spent a full season on. I still have these in the kit. I use them for snowmobiling now. Solid goggle comes with the extra lens. You're gonna get that Luma lens. Um, contrast tech in the lens as well, similar to like Prism or those types of technologies. So uh, that is solid goggle. If you're looking for something a little bit different and you like that Dragon style. And the last thing I wanna highlight is not something I was anticipating to include in this video, but I can't not do it because it's just pretty crazy to see this stuff on sale. Uh, we got some split boards actually. So if you are looking to get in the backcountry and you've been looking for a split board, you know that they're significantly more expensive than a regular snowboard, but it's an amazing investment. So I wanna throw out a few options for you guys. First, as you see here, the Jones Ultra Solution. This is gonna be like the best of the best full carbon split board, the Jones Solution, like their most popular split, uh, going for a pretty steep discount. Just wanted to throw it out there because of the sizing and just because of what it is. Uh, but really, I would more recommend uh, something like this. We got the Nitro Squash Split. Uh, I've ridden the solid shape of this snowboard and it's a pretty fun, but more aggressive free ride all mountain kind of board definitely has that very directional shape to it camber and a lot of stability it's a fun carving snowboard and i think would be a pretty versatile uh backcountry snowboard for those touring days but definitely a little bit of a more aggressive option we've also got the jones hovercraft 
another really fun carving free ride board from Jones. Uh, there's reviews for most of these snowboards on the channel, so uh, definitely check and see uh, the review on the channel if you're interested in any of these, whether it's a solid or a split. Uh, this one, again, is going to be quite aggressive, but, um, you know, pretty good discount if you're looking for that split board option. We've also got the Jones Stratus split, which I was pretty surprised to see up here, still going in a 56 and 59. This is one of my personal favorite all mountain free ride boards uh, for the solid version. This would probably be my top pick for the split if I could go for any of these. Um, as far as what the sizing they have available is, this is gonna be really versatile, gonna float well, and still gonna do well in more chundery, treacherous conditions if you just wanna go out for a split when uh, conditions are just like whatever they might be, not necessarily a deep powder day. Uh, this is definitely going to be a really fun one. And the last one I wanted to highlight here is the Nitro Quiver Slash. Uh, the solid version of this snowboard is so much fun. Another volume shifted shape. Uh, floats extremely well. Uh, you can downsize on it. It's just a fun, friendly, kind of do anything around the resort exploring kind of board. Uh, that's also going to be really fun in powder. So if you like the idea of that kind of shape, that kind of feel, you're looking for a split board, uh, this could be a really fun one. Not quite as versatile as the Stratus in my opinion, but uh, this would probably be the second one that I would get if I was going to get a split. Awesome guys. I hope this video helps you find some deals out there this weekend. Like I said, I just want to highlight some boards that I've had personal experience with. You can check the review out and maybe get for a bit of a discount. Uh, please like the video if you got some value, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and don't forget that all of this gear is linked in the description if you want to check it out in a little bit more detail. Appreciate you guys, and we'll see you in a new one next time.